so much for tuning in this week. We have some super cute learning tables. They are going to make the perfect Christmas presents for your kids. You can start fresh with a brand new TV tray from Target. I think they have them for like 15 bucks. Or you can be like me and dig one out of your garage and just sand the old paint off. So I've got some jungle green Rust-Oleum. And we are going to do a couple coats of that. You want to go make sure you get nice, even coat coverage. Then I have a Rust-Oleum dark gray. And we are going to do that on the opposite side of this tabletop. Now my gray was spraying a little funky, so bear with me. We ended up making it work, but it's one of those things you I had to play around with, and it really sucked. So make sure you always have a fresh bottle of spray paint when you start. I didn't follow that rule, but do as I say, not as I do. We all know how that goes. So we're going to do that on the table. Then I'm going to go down to the legs. I did that 50-50 again. Green on the top, gray on the bottom. Nothing fancy. Um, it was a really simple ombre. I just kind of did half and half. The only thing about the legs is it had a lot of sides, so it was kind of tricky. You got to move all around and make sure you get all the facets of the leg. Make sure that you put something down to cover your workspace. You don't want carpet, uh, spray paint everywhere. I am working on an old area rug because my neighbors were having a porch party where I usually work at, you know, 11 o'clock in the morning, but you know, whatever. It's not gonna stop my money. We threw down some old shower curtains and beach towels and we made it work. So, do a couple layers of the spray paint. You want a nice, even coverage. If you get any drips or runs, just let it dry, sand it down really well, and then go in with your spray paint again to get a nice smooth finish, like you see here. We were happy with this, so we moved on to the Cricut portion of this to gather all of our images. So, some of these images I got from Etsy. Actually, all of these images came from Etsy. So, what you see in the upper left-hand corner are digital wallpapers. Um, they are Ninja Turtle themed. They have a ton of them on there, so you'll be able to find any to go with the theme that you want to do. The little Ninja Turtle icons on the bottom came from Etsy. We ended up not using that big shell. And then the little charts are actually educational posters. I got the most hits on Etsy and Google when I typed in educational posters and then I just shrunk them down to a usable size. And then I just layered them over those digital wallpapers, resized them, and flattened them down together. And that was really cute. A uh, easy way to take the kind of like rainbow-ish theme from, you know, too girly to a little more gender neutral. I ended up not using the continents one because I didn't have room on my top. Just for reference, obviously go with whatever size makes sense for your table, but just for reference, my bigger count by 100 chart was four and a half inches and my ABC was like five inches wide. So, you know, um, I recommend printing them out on notebook paper or blank scrap paper so that you can place them out on your tabletop and align them to wherever it is that you want them to go. We send them over to our Cricut. We printed them. Make sure you turn off your bleed and make sure you've got them sized up to, um, not sized up. What's that word I'm looking for? Attached. Some of them I attach in groups to make sure I use the best of my page. You will see Julia here putting those stickers down on the tabletop. We use this paper from Amazon. I cannot think of the paper name right now because when I found this stash of paper in my craft room supplies, it no longer had the wrapping on it. But it is a waterproof vinyl sticker paper, and it was absolutely wonderful. Super easy to use. Didn't have to worry about any smearing when I applied my epoxy. Um, I would totally buy it again, even though it was a little more on the expensive side. It printed out with my printer beautifully, and we print with an Epson 2720. Um, I love my Epson printer, by the way, if you're looking for a printer 
we highly recommend Epson. We have two of their printers, one regular and one sub. But anyway, um, so we are taking our charts. We cut them down. Make sure if you do get this brand of paper when I find the link for you. Um, it was super sticky. Once we had it on there, there was no getting it up. And you'll see like on our tabletop, it looks like we had old stickers on there. It's because we did. Because I used some junky sticker paper that we bought at Joann's. And as soon as I put the sealer on, because I always seal my sticker paper. As soon as we put the sealer on, the sealer just soaked right through the paper. And it looked terrible. So when I came back for my 10 minute check, we saw that it was a mess. And with the quickness, we stripped that old sticker paper off so we didn't have to start over from scratch. I hate, side note, I totally hate when I have to start over on a project that looks absolutely adorable. Like there's nothing worse, nothing that burns my biscuits more than seeing something that's absolutely perfect and then I gotta strip it all off. Um, you'll see us go in with these little pizza stickers. We had a little boo-boo spot on the top that we covered with this pizza sticker. It could be our secret. Nobody needs to know. Um, if you have a little boo-boo on your spot, on your top, make sure you use a pizza sticker to cover that up. Um, we don't have a footage of us doing a logo because we hand cut everything and somehow we also hand cut out that part of the footage. But we do put a Ninja Turtle logo in the middle. Um, and it worked really well. These are super cute, super cheap. Well, not super cheap, but you know how that goes with DIY. They were a quick project to make with stuff that I reasonably had on hand or could find at my local Goodwill, Five Below, Target, Meyer, whatever. My kids are going to love them. Um, every kid in my family will be getting one of these this year because I can put these together each week up until Christmas. And they'll get all types of use out of them and then they'll fold and stack behind the couch or underneath their bed and they got a place to eat dinner if they want to sit on the couch or when we go camping, place to do their homework or color. They're perfect. So. After we put our stickers um, on there where we wanted them, I went in with some Rust-Oleum clear sealer. Doesn't have to be matte, it can be gloss. This is just what I had. We give it a really good seal. Um, we lost the footage also of me putting the epoxy on and I apologize y'all, but I couldn't record it over again just to show you the epoxy. But we used 40 milliliters of epoxy on the top we mixed it together, spread it out really good, hit it with our heat gun like we do. If you need to see that, go back to our other videos on our tumblers. We do this all the time. Standard procedure on any epoxy video. And this was our finished product. If you try it, send us a message in the comments below. We want to see your project. Have a great one.